Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To Use. In this video, I will show you how to fix error code 0x09600A in Windows 10 or 11. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So there's a few things that you could do here to fix this issue. So one of those ways is actually using the command prompt. So at the lower left or left side of your screen, you have your search bar here. You just need to type in the following, which is going to be command prompt. And from here, before you open this one, make sure that you right click on it and run this as administrator since we'll be running some commands that requires administrative privileges. Now, once you see this window here, what we need to do is we need to type in the following. So the command is going to be the ISM, Online Cleanup Image, Scan Health, Check Health, and Restore Health. So if you're not aware yet, Command Prompt is a great tool that you could use to basically input commands and you'll be able certain uh, you'll be able to see certain things or do certain things whenever you enter the correct right commands here. Like in this case, since we're uh, we're going to basically scan the health, check health, and restore health here. So what we need to do is first copy the first command here. So make sure that you do this exactly that you see here. So DSM online clean up image scan help. Now from here, we need to paste this one. So you could use control V to paste it here and press on enter. Or you could go ahead and just uh, basically type it manually if you want to. So I do have to warn you, this might take some time. So wait for it to complete. Now in here, go ahead and enter the second command, which is going to be check health here so copy it or you could go ahead and type it into your command prompt and just press on enter now next let's enter the final command here just click on copy enter it here and just paste it and just hit on enter now from here wait for it to complete and once it completes we'll be heading over to our next step now for our final and last step here, the next thing that we want to do is we want to check if there are any updates for Windows. So at the bottom left of your screen under the search section here, just type in update and you should see the check for update section. So go ahead and click on it and from here you should see Windows update and just click on check for update. So if there are any updates for Windows, make sure that you install that. So sometimes that is the cause of the issue and once you've installed it, just restart your PC and see if that solves your issue. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.